Okay, time to talk about RHEL. When we look at open source and Linux in particular, we often say it's the core of your innovation, but given how it's used, it is also the core of your production. It's not about choosing one particular kind of a server. It's not about choosing one particular kind of a cloud provider. In every customer I've ever met, their architecture is an accumulation of these choices over time. The stakes are really, they're high with that, whether it's security to life cycles, you need a foundation that you can really count on. That comes um, not just with open hybrid cloud, that core foundation comes with Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9. Red Hat Enterprise Linux is that stable base. It is that fixed point that collects all of your hardware and infrastructure choices together with all of your application choices. The trust that was really born with Red Hat in the data center that's extending both into public cloud in terms of location, same apps, different place, but it's also extending to edge where um, that same trust, the same extension and time frame that you can count us for a long time applies maybe even more so. Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 continues to grow and further establish Red Hat Enterprise Linux as a connector, not just in our portfolio, but into the enterprise IT world. And so Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9 is the first to be built fully from day one from CentOS Stream. It's an incredibly collaborative way to make sure that we're meeting the needs of our partner ecosystem and we're doing it with all the new innovations available in open source. Our customer's infrastructure today isn't being managed by people or a set of people with mice and keyboards. It's being managed by automated systems. With Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9, we're introducing Image Builder as a service. We're introducing edge management. We're continuing to invest in our insights tools. This expands the Linux experience overall. So it's not just a set of packaged software, but it's a set of cloud-based services that allow you to better manage your infrastructure. It's a bet you can make today, and it'll play out very well for you today but it will also continue to evolve to encapsulate um, utilizing artificial intelligence or integrating with quantum and other things that will represent your challenges tomorrow. That's what makes me excited about just seeing where Linux goes and then what our customers and partners are able to do with it.